welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I got carried away. Oh, I'm Subcom Rampage. Um, I got carried away and forgot that I needed to be re um, talking to this guy on screen. <laughs> so, basically what I've done so far is I went back to the Night Academy and went to go talk to the Headmaster because that was, that was the clue from... Uh, remembering Zelda was singing the song that, hey, his, her dad probably knows what the song is. Indeed, I know exactly where she's at, but I just, she's lost in space-time. In another dimension. What? Exactly. Yes, I, I do require that knowledge. No, no, just the lyrics are fine. You don't have to sing. Of course, it still looks like it has it metered out like he's singing it. I wonder if they just didn't change, if they don't change it between the two. I don't know. Okay, yeah. So it sounds like it all was in relation to me and whatnot. Whirling sails. I bet I know where those are. And before you, a path shall open. All right. Okay, so now that we have our knowledge, our brains have been filled with the knowledge of the things. Now it's time to go rearrange some sails. Hi, short, creepy dude. Oh, yeah, I saw Pippin upstairs. Pippin's cool. I like him. Especially since he's our, uh, senpai. Wait, is it Sem or Sem? Or Sem or Sen, if it's referring to your upperclassman. Senpai? I think it's Senpai. Okay. Anyway, hey, look! We have a Gust Bellows now. We can... spin the propeller. Could this be the whirling sail that was in reference? I bet it is. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, I missed it. I didn't know you could miss it. Damn it. <sighs> spinning, spinning, spinning. All of the spinning. I'm so, I'm so frustrated right now. <laughs> when I did this earlier, I didn't have any problem with it. Just, like, it, like, just chunked into place and was like, chunk. I'm not, I'm not missing it this time. There we go. See, it chunked. I just, I guess I just spun it a little too much last time. Well, poo then. Okay, so we can see there's another sail right over there. Could it go quite as easy this time as it did on the other? I doubt it. There's always something else to be had here. Some different little thing of some sort. And, oh, look, there's not a thing there. Hey! Indeed I am. Okay. If, there's a, if there was a propeller and it was something that was like, oh, hey, you know, this is probably something important, you know, relatively important, why didn't somebody just rig up another wind or another little propeller to attach on there? 
it doesn't seem like it should be a difficult thing. I mean, I guess there's not a whole lot of resources up here in the sky. But yeah, you you would you would think that someone at some point, if it was ages ago, that somebody would have went, you know what? We could probably fix that. We we can jury rig something that'll work as a propeller. A flying robot, you say? Well, let's just go check out on that little thing right there. As I mentioned in the last episode, be, you know, again, be prepared for a lot of, not a whole lot of action, lots of, lots of, uh, running around and collecting things and not much else, really, at this point. Okay, scrap shop, there he is. Dude, what's up? Indeed. Huh? It means that this damn thing doesn't work at all. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I mean, well, this will this will have come out. Jeez. A couple weeks after after the 21st of October. Happy Back to the Future Day to everybody. And speaking of Back to the Future, if you're a Loot Crate subscriber, man, we got awesome stuff in Loot Crate for Back to the Future this month. This is the best one in a long time. In my opinion. The, the Doctor Who Sonic screwdriver spork thing, I don't really, didn't really care about, but... But yes, this is the the reason I think I mentioned this back in several episodes ago when, for those ancient flowers, why it's important you at least pick up one of them is because you'll need that to for this little I, I don't it's not a side quest but it's 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 just one of the main quests. You have to have one of those ancient flowers, so which is one reason why they're generally abundant when they when you're in that area, so It lives! What an ungrateful pile of scrap you are. Well, I guess it's a good thing that I have a, what could be construed as a hot robot assistant. Robot-like assistant. That little scrap robot's gonna have the pods for, so. I like how she just totally ignores the. <laughs> oh, that 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 gets me. I I enjoy it. Master short pants, eh? Not sure that I appreciate that. Um, no, no, I already know where I'm going, so thank you, thank you very much for the 
for the suggestion. Yes, okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can you can just walk out here. I know exactly where the thing is, but uh, in fact, I pointed it out when we were back in near the Elden Volcano before. But I'm pretty sure. Let's see which which way is the thing. Uh, that's yellow. Red should be over here. But I'm pretty sure if you point in that general, yeah, see, it it will tell you right there. It's like you don't need to go talk to the creepy fortune teller guy. No one ever needs to talk to the creepy fortune teller guy with his oh so weird eyes that I yeah so weird. Well, this is a short flight. So it won't make for too long an episode as we take care of this situation here. And I believe this is the first time returning to an area, so uh, as, as Fee will point out here, um, you can select one of the bird statues you've been to before, and the temple entrance is the one we'll need for this one. But it's very convenient when you're going back to an area, so you don't have to go through all, all of the things. I mean, in some cases it can be worthwhile every once in a while, but... Generally, it's not really worthwhile. But hey, look, I saw some some butterflies up here. Hi, little butterflies. Again, it's just pretty much worthwhile because you're going to get... It's very little effort for a free resource. You know, random treasure, whatever the hell you want to call it. Alrighty then. Oh, ow! And down right here. There's the thing we need. We need. Sure, called the little asshole. I don't know. I'm beginning. I'm really beginning to dislike you, robot. I forgot that I disliked you before. Your insolence. Who knew you could teach a robot insolence? Or it just comes natural. Okay. That was all we needed here. So now we can go back to the sky. Ba -ba -da, to the sky. Indeed. Alright. Oh, oh my. A snap, crackle, and a pop in my shoulder. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, creepy robot. It's kind of nice, it just takes you directly back to where you need to go, so... Plonk. Hurry up and do that, so I can continue on my quest. Hey. 
for being the handyman guy around, he, he sure doesn't have a good... Oh, what the hell? Shouldn't have a good work ethic. Let's see if I can manage to not make this one go all the way around again. Chink. There we go. Okay. Now we can go to the Tower of Light and go do a thing. A thingy thing. Oops. That was not where I wanted to go. Hey, I can run again. Ha ha ha. Oops, that wasn't right. There we go. Ha ha. Alrighty then. Oh yes. Pretty smooth. Oh, I love the music. Singing fire air fee is kind of creepy, but And that will lead us to our next destination. The giant cloud dome. So in case you wonder what was hidden in the dome, now we'll find out. That would make sense, yes. Alright, but that's going to have to end this episode. Next time we will go and find out what's inside the Cloud Dome. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I've been Subcom Rampage, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye!